Hello everyone, Kelly Mandel here of Studio DIY and I'm one of those people that decks out every room of my house for the holidays. And this year I figured a lot of people aren't traveling, maybe you're staying home for the first time ever for the holidays, and you might want to add a little more holiday cheer to your house too. So I partnered with Etsy to share a ton of different ideas for each and every room of your house, for little hacks, quick swaps you can do, and even some DIY ideas to add that holiday magic that we all could especially use right now. I love to shop Etsy for everything from my DIY supplies to my holiday decor because it's really important to me to support small businesses, and again, especially this year. So let's get started. Let's start in the kitchen because the kitchen always feels like the heart of your home, especially around the holidays when we're cooking and baking. And this tradition is one that I stole from my mom. And I think my grandma did it as well, which is wrapping our cabinets. And it's really easy and something that you can reuse year after year and all you need is a bunch of ribbon. So I just use solid red, but you could use any sort of pattern or other color. And I simply wrap it around the cabinet, you can kind of see it in here, and I just stick it on with some removable adhesive and then add a little bow. And it totally transforms the kitchen. And I did it to our fridge too, because why not? And while I'm in the kitchen, if you have any sort of special dinnerware you pull out on Christmas or a cookie plate for Santa, display that in your kitchen so that those items can do double duty as decor and as functional pieces on Christmas day. This is one that I had made. It's like a Santa letter that my son wrote and they printed it on the plate. And I would like to note that he asked Santa to make him dinner, which I wouldn't mind if Santa made me dinner. But I feel like he also needs to do the dishes, which my three-year-old left out. Let's talk living room. So it's likely in your living room space in your house that you have either a mantle or a media console, some sort of flat surface where you can display a collection. My parents always had a collection of nutcrackers growing up, which they displayed. But my collection that I've started is bottle brush trees. So I have a whole rainbow of them and actually like a ton more than you even see here kind of spread throughout the house. But I add a few more every year and it's just a fun collection to build and expand on. Sometimes I add by color or size if I feel like something's missing. This year I added a bunch of these beautiful yellow ones. And whenever anything is all grouped together, it makes such a huge holiday impact. Let's take a minute to talk about how to spruce up your shelves for the holiday. So for me, our biggest shelving space is in our dining room, but this may be another room for you. So a few things that I do. One, I like to display holiday cards. You can actually kind of use holiday cards as art prints um, if you see any beautiful ones and you can frame them or display them in little photo holders like this. Or of course you can save holiday cards from years past. I even have some from when my mom was a kid um, and use those in your display too. And consider swapping out other items you have on your shelves like little knickknacks and ceramic pieces for just holiday ones like these beautiful handmade ceramic trees. Etsy has a ton of gorgeous pottery and they're that perfect mint color which we have going on throughout the room. Perhaps the most notable impact you'll see back here is our DIY Christmas Village. So every year I buy a plain birdhouse and we turn it into a little Christmassy house. This is a great way to get your kids involved in the holiday decor and something that they can see as their art skills and crafting kind of develop as they grow older. So all you need is paint, like I said, an unfinished birdhouse, some glitter or snow, and then some little festive things like little mini wreaths, or trees to add and really bring in the Christmas spirit. Kids rooms are such a fun spot to decorate for the holidays. And one thing that we do with our son each year is we let him decorate his own little mini tree. And if you have multiple kids, this is a really fun way to spend time with each individual kid and have a special holiday bonding moment. So what we do is we have all sorts of non-breakable ornaments and we just kind of let him go to town and decorate the tree. And we did a little handmade tree topper when he was one or two and it's just such a fun little spot in his room. These felt ornaments that I found on Etsy are so beautiful and 
perfect for little hands. Throughout the room, I also like to make his everyday toys festive. So I add little Santa hats to stuffed animals or his rocking horse. And you can even add little mini trees into toy cars and display those. Focusing in on bedrooms and bathrooms, if you have any artwork or especially family photos in these spaces, add Santa hats to any of the people in them. This is another great space to swap in any little holiday art and try adding in a festive scent for your soap or candles. And lastly, for those in-between spaces like a foyer or hallway, add a wreath. Wreaths don't have to be those typical green ones you think of when you think of the holidays. You can go for something more modern like this white wool one. And there you have it. I hope these ideas inspired you, whether it's gonna be for a quick little swap you're gonna to make to add some festive cheer or for a tradition that you're going to do for years to come. Um, you can shop everything I talked about here on Etsy. And if you want, leave below in the comments any special holiday traditions that you have that you share with your family. I'd love to hear them. All right, happy holidays.